Hi everyone, it's Leonora. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. This is going to be the Hidden Occult Tarot for my viewers who love my sci-fi readings. This is dedicated to my water signs. Um, this is for anyone who really um, has very, like they have very strong water placement. Um, either, I would say personally, um, water placements or water placements, water signs are cancer. Scorpio Pisces so if it's on in your north node Sun rising if you have even water strongly in Jupiter Saturn and Uranus this reading is for you um, but if the title catches your eye or if you're here because you love this segment you know I welcome you anyways okay no matter what um, a lot of the breakdown to this segment or any information that you feel like you need to know about this segment is in the description box so go ahead and view the description box in case you know you want to know anything else um, but they are dimensional messages, okay? This is a reading that are coming from other dimensions. That's why I call it my hidden occult, <laughs> my hidden occult tarot readings, okay? All right, so water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, this is for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so that these messages can go around for those who really need to hear it. Um, obviously, the more views and likes I get, the more the messages circulate. Um, also, don't forget to join me this Sunday. I am going live this Sunday, March 6th. All right, um, going to do the monthly reading. So I go live um, first Sunday of the month. First Sunday of the month, I go and... Um, I do the energy reading for um, Aries through Pisces, love, energy reading for um, your energy read, your love <laughs> read, and advice. <clears throat> also, I do pick um, a few viewers um, to do one question reading, so if you're available, you know, on Sunday, be the first there so that I could choose you or you could be on the list you know, in the beginning of the live, because I only pick people during the beginning of the live. If you come in later, I don't know, depending on my energy, I may take your reading, I may not. Um, all right, let's get one more here. I'm also going to reintroduce the love reads. Haven't done the love reads in a while, so hit the notification bell for that situation there, you know. Um, my love reads with the Q&As and the channel love letter. All right, so I'll be doing that sometime this month as well. All right, so I have here the High Priestess, the Temperance, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Wands. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, the High Priestess and the Temperance together. This will make an interesting story. Um, then I have the Seven of Pentacles here. The Eight of Cups. Isn't that beautiful? Love these images. Um, the Seven of Swords. Ooh, I don't like that energy right there. And at the bottom of the deck, the Four of Wands. Okay, so let's get started, my loves. Um, let's see what's happening here for my water signs so off the bat with the high priestess and the temperance i am picking up um two people um i think that one person here is able to transport themselves to other realms transport themselves to other people's um, energy, you know, into other people's energy. Um, I think that someone here also may be taken, interesting, may be taken. Um, hmm, that can mean a couple of things. Um, if you have been taken, I think that you have been either, you know, um, you may have, you might have had a, um, 
an encounter with extraterrestrials. Um, were you necessarily taken? I don't know. But, you know, either you were taken, abducted, or you had an encounter, for sure, with an extraterrestrial. So one of, the, one of those things. Um, the other person here with the temperance card, um, this person here is very religious. I think that this person either grew up in a very strict religious household or um, they um, was raised to be, you know, religious. If not so much religious, then very spiritual for sure with the high priestess and the temperance both combined here. Um, maybe both, very, both very religious and spiritual. Somebody here may have a, a, a wide, a, a wide, not, a wide knowledge, if I'm saying that right, wide knowledge of um, historical artifacts, historical um, scriptures, historical figures. Um, like, you know, this is someone here who, who appreciates history like crazy. I mean, you know, we're talking about um oh god you have to excuse me guys i my 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 language has literally has gone to shits it's because i haven't been on earth for <laughs> i've not communicated with with earthly people i mean i do i do communicate with earthly people i just my mind feels like it has not i know i have it's just my mind is somewhere else okay I know what I'm trying to say, but I can't, you know, anything that has to do with history, whether it's, um, you know, archaeology, <laughs> um, you know, culture, um, different cultures and, and, and um, you know, the history behind different cultures. Yeah, there's, a, there's a word for it, but I, I can't think of it. That's why I'm like crazy, going crazy. But anyway, um, you know... I, I, I do see two people here. There's two energies here. Um, and I feel like the, the energy between you and this person, whether, and I don't know who this person is to you. This person could be a partner of yours, a friend, a family member, um, maybe even a friend of me. I, I don't know. But um, there is a, this flow between you two when it comes to knowledge or wanting to know about what what else is out there. What else is out there? My water signs, huh? You know what I mean? Like you're just you're not you're not pleased with like, okay, well, this is it. This is this is I guess this is it. No, no, not my crowd here. My crowd here is like, um, there's more to this. And the more you discover, the more questions you have, obviously. This is this energy here. Um, for some of you, it could be that you are interested in someone or someone is interested in you. Or if it's not someone, it's something. Something is has piqued your interest and you're trying to find more about it because why that person is mysterious or you know you're curious about who or what um it is that you're trying to discover and i feel like you know you're doing it very methodically or it's just coming to you like If it's information you're getting, you're getting, or information that's being downloaded to you with the Seven of Pentacles, know that this information here is um, coming from the ethers. Um, so the ether is the Akashic records. That's how I correlate the ether. The ether is the Akashic records, the Akashic library. It is a, a, a universal library of what the hell happened in this universe and others. And some of you may be getting downloads from all over at this moment. For you, you, look at you all the way over here. For you, time and space is non-existent. 
sort of like my energy, <laughs> what I was just describing. I feel like I'm on earth, but the rest of me does not, right? Like, it's it's hard to explain. You can't, you can't, you can't, it's even hard to describe it, right? But this is a great picture of it because, you know, you see this, you know, what looks like a tree. For me, this is the tree of information. Um, for me, these are frequencies. Um, I feel like you've built a home, you know, under like all these energies, you know, for some reason you have built yourself a home um, subconsciously, not physically, but subconsciously you've built yourself this home of wanting to get um, information, researching, or you're um, getting downloads, you know, these are all downloads coming to you from all over, past, present, future, other dimensions, from this earth, archons, gods, deities, um, children, animal, nature. And, um, and it's just coming at you. So much so that it's like you literally, you're like, all right, well, I'm going to stay for a while. I'm going to stay for a while because there's a lot here to find out. Um, some of you may be going through some type of um, a transformation, um, but that's not really the word I wanted to use. Maybe an integration. Yeah, like you're integrating your old life. Yeah, that's it. You're not even, it's not even a transfer. It could be a form of transformation, but it, it, it's more like you're integrating your, your life as it was. And now you're bringing in this new world into your life. So you're integrating the old world beliefs or old world knowledge or old world. And when I say old world, I mean the current world that we are in. The, the world we are currently in is the old world. But then there's this other world. It's not necessarily new. As a matter of fact, it's much more ancient than this old world. But, um, but it feels new. It feels like information that's just coming at you that you never, you weren't taught this information. This information is just falling into your lap this information is being downloaded to you given to you like like a gift honestly it's a gift and, and it chose you chose you because you you're coming from this energy of 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 wanting to know the truth of wanting to expand your knowledge of of knowing that there is something more out there because why? You've encountered it. You've seen it. You've felt it. You've heard it. You spoke to it. Um, some of you have an enemy from the other side. You have an enemy from the other side. Interesting. And this, you know, I, 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 I'm gonna say enemy because it's it's a low vibrational energy with the seven of swords, um, and the fact that this figure here is hiding this sword, like you know, if you were to confront this person, this this entity, it's not a person. Because I, I see the figure, but I don't see it to be human. Um, so, interesting. It could be dressed as a human, but it's not human. Um, it could be just a spirit. Um, I, I don't sense it to be a very high vibrational um, spirit or a high vibrational being. It's pretty low. So 
two things either it's a it's a low vibrational spirit low vibrational archon um or it's a um it's something that's not human um it's not human it could be dressed as human but it's not um i don't i don't know what it is it's low vibrational nonetheless so i can't i i feel like you'll you'll understand the energy if i talk to you about the energy this energy here is trying to trick you this energy here is trying to sabotage your future this energy here is trying to make you think things that are not there that are not true um but you're thinking it so it must be true right no And it, can, it, it this energy could be, it, it's being sent to you specifically, specifically to divert you with the Eight of Cups here. It's like, okay, you're thinking you should be going this way, but instead you're going this way. Um, so this energy is here is to divert you, I don't know, either from your mission, um, distract you from something or someone, And it's almost as if, you know, you're heading in the right direction. You're heading in the right direction. But this, this entity is making you feel like you need to go in this direction. I feel like you'll be fine. You'll be fine if this resonates in some shape, form, or other. Um, because I feel very strongly with the Eight of Cups here, you're being guided by um your spirit guides you're being guided by something even more powerful than this low entity um to go in the right direction with the eight of cups here um hmm. with the four wands here there is a new level of um of um this kind of reminds me of the seven of pentacles remember i was talking about this energy um with the with the four ones here there's a new level there's a, it's like another level it's like i'm hearing level 16 level 17 level 18 like it's a new level of your evolvement on earth or just as a soul um and that's why you may be experiencing, you know, attacks from entities. That's why you may be thinking that perhaps I should be going this way instead of this way, but you're not sure, but then you're being guided to go in the right direction. Um, that's why you have these downloads, these dreams, these visions, these feelings, these encounters um, that makes you feel like, wait a minute, why am I being privy to this information or these encounters? What's going on? Have you had a moment where time and space doesn't feel the same anymore? Have you had an encounter with a supernatural being um, that you feel was real, but it could maybe it was a dream, but was it real? You know what? I'll sit here for a while to really discover the truth. Um, some of you may already know or connect with someone just as spiritual and enlightening as you are or insightful as you are, but know that you are with your soul tribe is what I'm hearing. You have found your soul tribe, um, whether it's more than one person or just one person that I don't know, but there is such a beautiful connection here between you and someone or you and the spirit guide because it doesn't have to be a living person it could be just um a guide um so you are being protected here my water signs um 
and you're going you're 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 on your way to a new level here um in the, in the, in this um in this evolution here of 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 your soul when I look at that tunnel over here, there's like this small tunnel all the way up there. It reminds me of this, um, I think it's, Aris, is it Aristotle? God, I, I'm not even going to try. I don't, it's not Aristotle, but it's, oh God, Leonor. It's like right on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> For some reason, I'm being blocked today. I don't know why. Whatever. Moving on. Um, but there's a painting where... It's an image um, of, you know, a whole bunch of people just sitting there on their laptops, on their phones, televisions, blah, 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 computers. And there's this one person that just this one person all the way, like they're all in the dark, but they're they're You know, all you see is like light, like screen lights <laughs> from their phone, this, you know, the lights from their television, the light. So the only light that they see is the, the ones that you see, you know, on screen, whatever gadget that is or device. And and then there's this one person um, walking towards the light, not the light of the, the televisions and the screens and the phones, but the light, the real light. So the, the quote is, is, is is kind of saying like, you know, wake the fuck up. <laughs> Not in those exact words, but really wake the fuck up. Because the true knowledge and the truth is not on the gadgets that you're holding or you're viewing. It's actually somewhere else. I hope that made sense. Let's go into, um, I don't know. I'm being told to go into the past life. Let's go into your past life. I, I don't, did I mention anything about past life here? All right, whatever. Um, I don't know. I'm just being guided to do past life. So let's do past life for my water signs here. It may have a lot to do with this high priestess and temperance situation here. Um, maybe even the Seven of Pentacles. So let's just see what I have here. All right. So I have um, Egypt. I have leaving or travel at the bottom of the deck, biblical. See what I mean? This, isn't this what the hell I was talking Wasn't this the energy of all these three cards? The High Priestess, the Temperance, and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, this energy of... Uh, but it's interesting. The fact... The, 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 the reason why, my darling water signs, the reason why you're so wanting to know more about not what's in front of you. You want to know what's beyond that, right? You're like, okay, I already know what's in front of me, but I want to see what's behind door number 10. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you for that. But now I want to go to the next door. And there may be people that are saying to you, "What? there is no door number 10. It stops at nine. What are you talking about? And you're like, no, it doesn't stop at nine. I know there's more information here. I know there's more information here because I've seen it. I've heard it. There's been messages that's been download that's being that's being downloaded to me either in my dreams, in my visions, um, when I meditate, or when I'm doing nothing. Why? Because you have been, um, you've had these encounters in your past life with other beings that've been here. Like you know, I had said something about. Um, ancient world right ancient world 
You're like, I don't want to know about the old world. I already, I already been through all nine doors. Show me the next door now. You know there's more to life, to whatever it is that you're very curious about right now. And again, this could be a person or this could be a thing, maybe both. Um, travelers. Um, something about traveling. I feel like some of you, and I hate to get all like, you know, gloomy, but it's what I'm kind of feeling. I feel like some of you, while you were traveling in your past life, you might have died. Um, I think it's it was an illness. Something, while you were traveling, um, you caught an illness. Interesting. You know how nowadays people are like, if you're going to go to this country, you need to get vaccinated. Um, you know, and this is before COVID. I'm not talking about COVID. I'm talking about like before that. Um, you know, because there's some countries that have a high percentage of some type of disease, you know, because of whatever, poor hygiene or, um, you know, not um, the, the, the environment is not that safe <laughs> for whatever reason, um, you know. <clears throat> so I, I feel in your past life, um, you know, um, before the discovery of certain vaccinations, um, you know, to keep you from getting sick like malaria or, you know, the, um, you know, um, what do you call that? Um, the measles, um, you know, something like that. Um, you travel to a place and you got sick. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be a disease, but I am picking you got sick in your travels and unfortunately died. And it was so unexpected and so fast <sighs> with the leaving a travel card. Um, I don't know why that message is coming up for you guys. I don't know why that's coming up. Maybe some of you may resonate with that. Maybe some of you are scared to travel. Um, maybe some of you love to travel, um, but you've gotten you got in court in situations where you weren't able to travel because you got sick or something happened that you couldn't leave, you know, you know, to your destination, you know, this long destination. Um, and maybe it was for a reason. I don't know. It's a really weird message coming out there. Um, then I have biblical... You know, but this, I'm not surprised that this came out, especially with the high priestess and the temperance being here, um, because the high priestess and the temperance is all about, you know, um, religion, higher learning, scriptures, um, you know, so for you to feel this way and, and wanting to know what else is out there and, and having this wide knowledge of like, you know, um, wanting to know what, you know, what other religions and spirituality, um, or what, you know, um, what other history is out there, um, doesn't surprise me when I see the biblical card. I think that a lot of you are into reading and love reading, and you love reading about ancient texts, ancient knowledge, ancient wisdom, um, ancient anything, because you resonate with it. Um, if I keep going, I see spouse and look at this. I see transportation. So a lot of you did travel a lot in your past life or you've made this one specific huge travel, just like this, this one big destination, this one big travel, either you were leaving to go to another country, um, 
but it was pretty huge. Whatever you did, you traveled really far, um, either constantly or just, just one big travel. Um, with the spouse card here, some of you... Um, I'm hearing you've met you've met your match. What the hell? Um, you've met your match. Some of you may be looking for a match. Some of you already have found a match. Um, a match meaning a person, a human being. <laughs> um, I feel like some of you are, are, are looking for someone um, or asking yourself, am I ever going to find that true love? Some of you already are with that true love. Um, but whoever this person is, whoever your match is, um, it's very similar. I feel like I said this for my fire signs. I could be wrong, but the fire sign had a lot to do with love. But whoever this person is, is your match or will be your match. So don't give up my water signs. There is someone out there if you have not met them already, okay? Um, and this person is a soulmate of yours, obviously. All right, so that was your reading, my loves. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you need a private reading, my email is in the description box. Love you. Bye.